Alright, this is Geometry Lesson 1-2 Basic Constructions. In this lesson, we'll be able to use a straight edge and compass to construct basic figures. Let's start with exploring reasoning. Using a compass, make a design using only circles like the one shown. If you look at the figure, how would you describe this pattern or this design? You might notice several circles, multiple circles in this design that are overlapped. Um, the design could be an arrangement of seven circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in a pattern like a hexagon. If you connect all these dots outside the center um, and, and on the center, circle, um, then you see a hexagon, right? So what instructions can you give to another student so they can make a copy of your design? How would you tell another student who cannot see this design to construct? How would she or he draw this copy of a design? Does it matter how large you make the circle? How can you match the diagram exactly? Well, in part A, the problem doesn't say to match exactly, but you could open the compass to exact uh, to to uh, draw the exact size in the diagram um, and give the compass to her or him. So, if you have a compass, please take it out. Okay, I have a compass here. You will take your compass and match the center of the compass to on the center of the circle. So we can start with the, with the middle circle in the design. So on your textbook, you're going to put the center of the compass on the center of the circle. And then put the tip of your other end on any point on the circle so that you your compass can measure the radius of the circle and starting from that once you have the angle on the compass you're going to put the tip of the uh, the compass on the paper and rotate the other tip around the center so that you can draw uh, a full circle. So then I have a circle that looks like this. And then how, uh, how could you describe other circles? You can first draw the hexagon on the middle on the on the circle that's on that's in the middle, right? And then using the endpoints, using the points, the vertices of the hexagon, we can draw other circles um, by using the vertices as the center of those circles, right? So using your straight edge, you can draw as much as, as exactly as possible to get a regular hexagon. Okay, so I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four, five, and six sides. Okay, so my hexagon doesn't really look regular, but that's okay. We're trying to copy as accurately as possible. And using the same angle, the circles look like they have the same radius, right? So um, using, the same, using the same angle of the compass, you can use these vertices to draw other circles around. So try drawing a copy of your own. 
so that you can describe it to your friends how to draw the copy of this design. So if you have the right tools, you'll be able to draw and copy and construct any design um, as accurately as possible. So this is only a process, but you'll draw four more circles to complete this, this design. So how would you describe in words is what we're concerned um, next. So first, you can say that we could use tools like compass and straight edge or a ruler to draw the center circle first then the outside circles. And you can describe the process um, as you go. Right, part B, use a ruler to draw straight line segments to connect points where the circles intersect. Are any of the segments that you drew the same length? If so, why do you think they are? So if you look at the design, um, you, will draw, you will draw lines connecting all these vertices on the center circle. And if you measure them with a ruler, would you find that they're all the same length? Yeah, it's a regular polygon. And all the circles um, that are connected um, and intertwined have the same radius. That means from this one vertex, vertex to another vertex here, which is from a, the center of one circle to another, this, this length would be equal in length from that center of the circle to another center of the circle, and so on. So that means the hexagon, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, that we have drawn on the, on the center circle will make a regular hexagon, which means all the sides are equal in length. Right? So then, let's uh, write that down. All six segments, we could say that all six segments appear to be the same length. Um, because the compass marked off the, the same distance around the center circle each time. Okay, so throughout this lesson, we'll be thinking about how a straight edge and compass could be used to make basic constructions. Okay. So you will need a straight edge and a compass for this lesson. Let's look at example one, copy a segment. So let's start with a basic, basic construction, which is a line. How can you copy a segment using only a straight edge and a compass? So how could we copy the exact length of a segment? Remember, by definition, segment has two endpoints. And so it ends, it has a certain length, okay? So if you want to copy a segment on another piece of paper, then you need to know the exact length. So a straight edge is a tool for drawing straight lines. A compass is a tool for drawing arcs and circles of different sizes and can be used to copy lengths. So first step one, um, to copy a, a, a B, first use a straight edge to draw line L. So you're going to draw a straight line using your straight edge first. And it could be any line on any piece of paper with, you know, uh, any length. Because by definition, a line is uh, infinitely long. It, it, the arrows go the opposite way. 
to infinity. So then, how do we know? Uh, how do we know this could be cut into a segment with the exact length that we need? Well, first we need one point. We're gonna mark point M, a random point M. So mark M anywhere on the line. Okay, then it doesn't have to be at a certain specific point, okay? So we're gonna mark our first point M. Step two, place the compass point at A. So if you have a compass, you're gonna place the tip, the sharp uh, tip of the compass on, on A. And then you're gonna measure, you're gonna, you're gonna adjust your compass so that the other end of the compass is on point B. Then you know the angle the exact length that is measured from point A to B, right? Then you're going to use the same angle. So do not change your compass. Make sure you're not changing or bending the compass while you're moving it. And you're going to put the tip of the compass on point M. So point M is going to copy point A and then we're going to draw the intersection using the arc, okay? So draw an arc that goes through the line that you drew earlier, right? Then you have an intersection between the arc and the line. Then you're going to mark this intersection point N. And now this is a duplicate of the segment AB. These are the, the basic steps of copying a segment. You need a straight edge and a compass. Of course, of course, you can uh, measure with your ruler the exact length and copy a segment. But if you have to have to use a compass, these are the correct steps, okay? So with constructions, you only use a ruler as a straight edge not as a measuring tool. So if you see the word construct, you will not measure with your ruler. You only use it as a straight edge, okay? So now it's your turn. Try number one. How can you construct a copy of segment X, Y? You're gonna follow the exact same steps and you're gonna make a construction. Remember, construction is a geometric figure made with only a straight edge and compass. So stop the video, come back when you're ready for answers.